Hi everybody and welcome to Premier Pro Tips. I'm uh, joined here by Lauren Kiefer and this is my horse, Walk on the Moon. I'm David O'Connor and thanks for joining us here today. So what we're gonna do is do this exercise of taking two fences that are 72 feet apart, which is a normal competition five stride and be able to put a number of different strides in it. Can I put five? Can I put six? Can I put seven? And even for a horse that's quite uh, experienced like Danny is here, we can put eight strides in 72 feet. Now this is something that you don't use in competition a lot but it's about getting a horse to land and say what? Land and listen to you. Can I go faster? Can I go slower? Can I turn? Maybe after that we'll do a turning exercise also. So if I can get uh, Lauren and Danny to come out here and what we're gonna do here is jump two fences, the yellow to the blue here in five strides. 72 feet, five strides. Okay, you ready? That's a normal, normal competition pace. So the more that you can get your horse to land and say what? Land and listen to you the easier all combinations or, or all fences that are related are gonna be. So nice competition pace. And we can count with her, even rhythm. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. You're looking for the priorities of riding to stay the same. First priority is direction, second priority is speed, then rhythm and balance, and then we get into timing. So now we're gonna come back and change a different speed. She's gonna come in at a different speed and see if she can get six rides. One, two, three, four, five, six. So again, nice speed, nice rhythm, all the time um, that we enter the exercise at the speed that we want to jump the exercise. That's really important. Now we're gonna come back and we get into the more advanced level, the seven strides and eight strides for this level of horse. One, two, three, four, five, six. And she, Lauren missed there, didn't come, came a little bit too fast. And when you're doing it, this happens all the time. Until you get comfortable with it, it's about picking the speed that you want to jump into the exercise with. So she's gonna come next time and come slower to make the seven strides easier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Came in slower, horse listened to her, nice seven strides. Now for quite an advanced exercise, is to come back and we'll see if Lauren and Danny can do this in eight. Now she's gonna come cantering into the exercise, really, really, really slow. Land, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. So again, that's more of an advanced exercise for a horse to put eight strides into 72 feet. But that is an important, you can play this game with two rails on the ground, you can play it with two logs on the ground, you can play it on the middle of a field, in a ring, it doesn't make any difference. But it's an important exercise. It will make your show jumping easier, it will make your cross country easier when you have that type of communication with your horse. Good boy, Dan. So then we're gonna come on to the next thing and maybe start turning. Same exercise of having, trying to promote the same exercise of having the, the horse land off of a fence and say what? So, what we're gonna do is jump in over the black, and we're gonna jump to the yellow. That's where we're gonna end up. For the first time we're gonna do it, jump the black, make a circle inside, and then jump the yellow, and see where you come out. So again, the more that I can get my horse to land and be adjustable, all jumping is gonna be so much easier when you have that type of communication. So we're gonna come in, jump the black, And a circle. And jump the yellow. Perfect. Okay, so that's again a great way to start turns. So the next time, what we're gonna do, jump the black directly to the yellow. Now this is set up kind of on a bending line at 60 feet, which would be normal four strides. 12 foot strides, six foot for takeoff and landing, that ends up four strides. And direct, one, two, three, four. Perfect. This exercise on our left, from the black to the blue, is actually set up a little bit shorter. It's set up at 45 feet. 
and you can play a game with Lauren and Danny now, is maybe I could do these two fences, one in four strides and one in three strides. This is a little bit more advanced because it's, the fences are closer together. I wouldn't start here, but this is an exercise, notice that we didn't even start there, but it's an exercise that everybody should practice. To come in straight and hold out, one, two, three, four, come around, and the next time let's do it in three. Danny's been with us for a while, Lauren's been with us a while, she makes this look easy. But we'll come down here and do it in three, which is pretty direct. One, two, three. Very good. One important thing through this whole type of exercises is that the speed stays the same off of what you have dictated. So when you are seven or eight strides away from the fence, or kind of from here to the yellow fence, from that kind of distance, then that's where you want to have picked the speed that you want to do the exercise. If you have picked that speed, maintain it, then you can get the exercise to work out how you want to. Good boy, huh? Yeah. yeah, very good. Excellent. Well, thanks for joining us here at Premier Equestrian Pro Tips. We've had fun. I hope that really helps you.